minute to go. Here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Dallas Cowboys and the New England Patriots. Set to kick off. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end. Being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block and you're not going to get pushed inside. Stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. The ball carrier. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? He's, gonna, he's got a man complete. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. And this is up and good to make it 7 0 Cowboys. Cowboys 7, Patriots nothing. Zane Gonzalez. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. Cowboys 14, Patriots nothing. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Bryce Love, the former Stanford Cardinal. Bryce. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If so you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. At the 34-yard line. Shotgun handoff now for Love. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. He's brought down. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. 
They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. No gain on the play. Brings up third down and seven. From the gun, Nelson. And that's complete to the tight end, Devin Asiasi. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And this is going to be brought back for a fumble return touchdown by the Cowboys. Dallas. Same huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find someone to block and bring it all the way home? I always like their celebrations because they don't get there that often. No, they're not choreographed very well, usually. <laughs> And able to get this out to the 25. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Off play action, Nelson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Forced out to his left. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the seven yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. They'll run on first down. McKnight. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On second down, McKnight will have a first down and more past the 20 as he'll take this up to the 22-yard line. 16 yards, a first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run-blocking abilities, and we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Throwing on first down, Morrison. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. When you look at the scoreboard, you'd think they'd be pretty comfortable right now with this lead, but these guys are absolutely not going to let up. They want to increase their lead, and they want to do it with a big play, unable to connect in that attempt. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. To throw again, Morrison. And his throw is going to be incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about an on air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. He rifles one that's intercepted. 
Picked up by Jonathan Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. PAT up and good by Rosas, and they'll cut the lead to 21-7. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. On first down. McKnight call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. To throw on second down. Morrison, he's going to launch this thing way down. That's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there. 78 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. At their own 21-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the and a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Brings up third and seven. Here's Nelson on third down. Got a man open, that's Harry. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Operating from the gun, Nelson. And he hits his target, it's Kenny Stills. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. New England on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. An effective seven-yard third down conversion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now the pass hauled in by Kenny Stills. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Set to throw is Nelson. To throw on second down. He'll find his tight end here, Asi Asi. And he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 33. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. On first down, here's Love. 
Bryce. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Nelson, off play action, rolling to his right. That's complete to Jake Butt. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. He was out there waving his arms. When you get a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. On third down, here's Love. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of four, but they're still a yard short here with fourth down, fourth coming. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. From the gun, Nelson. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They are not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Now Nelson looking to throw on second down. Buying time to his left. He turned that into a nice gain. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Got his man. That's Harry. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. They'll look to run with Connor, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James Conner, his first touchdown on the year. And the Patriots get a score closer. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. Makes the score, Cowboys 28, Patriots. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Please take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. It's a gain of 53 yards. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays... 
They're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Operating from the gun, Morrison. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he will have a Cowboys first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, Morrison. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. 42-yard line. Nelson now on first and 10. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi there. That'll bring up second down. Throwing again, Nelson. He sets to fire deep. And this is incomplete, with a clock showing just three seconds left. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. The final shot before break, Nelson. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, the Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Off the play fake, Nelson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. This is Love. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. He's just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Here's Nelson to throw on third down. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. A tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn him loose, big man, and he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead, and boy, it paid off.
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you got three on the board for sure, and to come over with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. And will they make up for it? So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. They run the counter. McKnight. And he's into the clear. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The ball carrier. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to pan it, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he finds Stills, complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That'll give him 60 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. 38-yard line. They'll run with Love. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, Picked off near the 29. Well, young quarterback Charles rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Operating from the gun, Morrison. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. From the gun on third down, Morrison looking middle, and that's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. From the gun, Morrison. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. 
Well, plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. To number I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No game. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. And to give this time to the tailback. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. McKnight, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They stop him on fourth and goal at the three. And the Patriots get the football back. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. On the pickup. Second and six. They'll hand it off. It's Love. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14 yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. And they run the option here on first and ten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. With the score. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now left side on the swing pass. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. Not much there, only a yard. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he will bring it out past the 20-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. At the 21-yard line. Off play action. Morrison. And this is caught off the deflection. 
That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. Sometimes it pays to be lucky rather than good. That was not even the intended receiver on that pass. But still able to haul it in for the reception. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Off the play fake. Morrison. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I don't know how well our microphones are picking it up for those of you at home, but uh, Charles, you and I can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Devin Asiasi, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots make some inroads here on that deficit. And that's a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, don't look now, but they've got a little bit of a battle on their hands again. Back to a two-score game, the interception that led to a touchdown. You'd have to think they're a little more careful here if they if they do indeed try to throw a football. Yeah, I was a little surprised by the last throw. You know, that type of throw with this type of a game, I'm going to be very careful about it. Maybe the only throw you make is maybe a toss to your half halfback or something <laughs> like that. Otherwise, take care of the thing and finish this bad boy off. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. You have to stay in bounds and run that clock. Coaches, that'll drive them crazy. Sacrifice a yard or two if you have to. Just go down, inbounds, keep that clock going. It's almost like he was caring more about his fantasy stats than it was about winning the game. And that has to drive a coach crazy. Third down, Morrison. And intercepted, maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Carl Joseph. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Well, you just kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. And there's a lot going on in between the years. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Set to throw is Nelson. To throw on second down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. 
Operating from the gun. Nelson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push you back and try and take you out of that. Yeah, the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as he's out of bounds at the two. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. They'll try to run it. This is Connor, and he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. James Connor, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Patriots have cut it back within a score. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. And the Cowboys are able to recover. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. They'll run on first down. McKnight. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. They'll keep it on the ground. McKnight call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Third and medium, they opted to run instead of pass, and it worked. First down. First down, Cowboys. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Brought down at the, the Patriots will take their third and final timeout on the play. as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Back to throw. Morrison. Now they go screen. It's complete. Good contain. No gain on the screen, and they'll bring up fourth down. I know you've got a baseball background. No, right? A little bit. Yeah. Starting minor league yeah, ball. You did some of that, right? What do they do when they do the signals? An indicator, right? It Tells starts... you whether it goes or not, yeah. Yeah, whether the play's on or not. How about the indicators offensive linemen give when they're getting ready to run a screen pass? And if those get red, <laughs> well, we just saw that there, didn't we? No gain. No gain. Deciphered it and finished the play off. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Cowboy first down.
today. Well, Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit, they were able to hold on.